Our planet Earth's radius is estimated to be around 6,371 kilometers, but I doubt that this matters to you. Since an average person has nothing to compare these scales and distances to, they can hardly imagine them accurately. They're so broad that it's difficult to comprehend them. But let's give it a shot. Consider our Earth to be the size of a tennis ball, and reducing all other dimensions to a specified scale, we get the following illustrative figures. The sun would be about one kilometer away from the tennis ball and would appear as a sphere with a diameter of a five-story house. Isn't that impressive? But that's not all. Our galaxy's biggest stars have a diameter of around 2,500 times that of the sun. In our case, such a star will have the size of three diameters of the actual size of Earth. Please keep in mind that the Earth is the size of a tennis ball. Nevertheless, even on such a small scale, the distance to the closest star is difficult to comprehend since it is around 220,000 kilometers, or roughly half of the distance to the moon. Let's try again. If we were to shrink the sun's scale to that of a colorless blood cell, leukocyte, our Milky Way would fill about the same space as the United States. As previously stated, such scale play lets you transform numbers and degrees that are meaningless to the average person into visual representations. And these are far from the largest objects and distances in the universe. There are some which are considerably more extensive and more massive. What exactly are these objects? Where did they originate from? The Chandra X-ray Observatory was launched into a 64-hour orbit by NASA aboard the Columbia Space Shuttle in 1999. Chandra is sensitive to X-ray sources, which are 100 times weaker than what any previous X-ray telescope could detect due to the absence of an atmosphere that absorbs the vast majority of X-rays and the high angular resolution of its mirrors. Back then, they thought the telescope would only operate for five years but in reality, it still works today. As a result, Chandra was able to join the fleet of the great observatories. The Chandra X-ray Center, which operates the satellite, processes the data and distributes it to scientists worldwide for study, is housed at the Smithsonian Institution Astrophysical Observatory in Cambridge, Massachusetts. This telescope was designed to detect X-rays from extremely hot areas of the universe, such as exploded stars, galaxy clusters, and matter surrounding black holes. Chandra holds four highly sensitive mirrors that are nestled inside one another. The high-energy X-rays pass through the hollow shells and concentrate on electronic detectors at the end of a 9.2-meter optical bench. Highly detailed images or spectra of the cosmic source can be collected and analyzed depending on which detector is used. Astronomers may have discovered the most distant supermassive black hole with a jet, which was detected in X-rays using NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory in early March 2021. The jet source is PJ352-15, a quasar, a rapidly expanding supermassive black hole at the core of a young galaxy located around 12.7 billion kilometer light years from Earth. This finding could shed light on how the largest black holes in the universe formed so early in their existence. On the lower left, matter orbits around a supermassive black hole in the disk. As soon as it loses enough speed and energy, the matter may fall further inward and cross the so-called event horizon, the point of no return demonstrated by the black disk. Meanwhile, as seen on the right side of the illustrations, some of this matter is diverted away from the black hole in a narrow beam or jet. Magnetic fields fuel these high-velocity jets of energetic particles, which can cause a disc-breaking effect as energy is extracted from the system. This is one of the primary ways in which the matter in the disc loses energy, consequently increasing the rate of black hole expansion. The X-ray data from Chandra of PJ352-15 has been put together with optical and infrared data from the Gemini North 
and Keck-1 telescopes on the inset of this image. Astronomers used Chandra's keen vision to keep an eye on PJ352-15 for three days to trace evidence for the X-ray jet. Chandra detected X-ray emission 160,000 light years away from the quasar in the same direction as much shorter jets in radio waves. In contrast, the Milky Way is about 100,000 light years across. Since only the brightest part of the jet is detectable with the observation time used, the Chandra results do not present the jet as continuous. The X-rays discovered from the jet in PJ352-15 were generated when the universe was only 0.98 billion years old, constituting approximately a tenth of its current age. The level of the remains of the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, post the Big Bang was significantly higher at the time compared to now. As the electrons in the jet accelerate away from the black hole, they move through and come into collision with photons that compromise the CMB radiation, amplifying the photon's energy into the X-ray range, which Chandra is able to trace. In contrast to radio waves, the light of X-rays is substantially increased in this case which goes in line with the finding that the massive X-ray jet feature has no radio emission associated with it. How did supermassive black holes in this early epoch of the universe evolve so rapidly to reach such a considerable mass? To this day, this remains one of the most important issues in astronomy. Given their overwhelming gravity and frightening notoriety, black holes do not always swallow everything that comes too close. It's difficult for a child to move towards the center of a playground merry-go-round if it's going too fast, so someone or something needs to slow it down," said Thomas Connor of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena, California, who led the research. We believe jets will detract enough energy away from supermassive black holes to allow matter to fall inward, initiating the growth of black holes. PJ352-15 is the first object to break two separate astronomical records. Firstly, the longest jet previously detected from the first billion years after the Big Bang was just around 5,000 light years long, consistent with PJ352-15's observations. Secondly, PJ352-15 is approximately 300 million light years away from the previous farthest X-ray jet discovered. The duration of this jet is important because it indicates that the supermassive black hole driving it has been rising for a long time, said Max Planck Institute for Astronomy, MPIA co-author Eduardo Bados of Heidelberg, Germany. This finding emphasizes how X-ray studies of distant quasars are important for understanding the growth of the most distant supermassive black holes, says the team. Our findings indicate that X-ray observations can be one of the most effective methods for studying quasars with jets in the early universe, said JPL co-author Daniel Stern. To put it another way, Future X-ray observations could hold the key to unraveling the mysteries of our cosmic past. Quasar PJ352-15 was revealed in 2018, and at the time of its reveal, it was the loudest radio quasar, the longest jet of particles ever recorded coming from Quasar PJ352-15 makes up an astronomical record by a huge margin as the jet of particles previously tracked by astronomers was only 5,000 light years in length. Making up about 10% of the overall quasar population, radio loud quasars are some of the largest and most ancient objects in the universe which were discovered by man. The X-ray jet from PJ352-15 hit an observational distance record at the time of its discovery. NASA's Chandra is definitely humanity's most powerful X-ray observatory, and it's viewed everything, from pulsars to colliding gas, to galaxy clusters and supermassive black holes. Chandra also recorded the largest X-ray jet in the known universe, which is possessed by Pictor A, a radio-loud galaxy some 485 million light-years away. 
Chandra took a look at it with the X-ray eyes, and the finding was beyond belief. Pictor A's jet of 300,000 light years long was discovered. This is another record-setting X-ray jet discovery by Chandra. Most likely, this is not the limit for exciting findings from the Chandra X-ray Observatory and other observatories worldwide, as the curiosity of astronomers drives them to keep pushing forward, and the most remarkable discoveries await us ahead. As Neil deGrasse Tyson said in Death by Black Hole and Other Cosmic Quandaries, not only do we live among the stars, the stars live within us. We will definitely tell you about them and keep you posted. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel and press the like button.